Hello YouTube, welcome to my last video of 2020. Glad this year is over. Just wanted to do an updated statue collection with some final pieces I did get added to the collection. I know that the I have done a couple of these for specific pieces, but haven't really put it all together to show you the final look of it. So here we go. Okay, so here we have the, this is actually the entrance to my apartment. Uh, I do plan to move in the coming year where I can have my own statue room. And that would be amazing, but time will tell and good things come to those who wait. You know, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, up here we have the top shelf that I did finally install um, for reasons to put statues on top. Uh, maybe one fifth scale, but I kind of thought against that because I can't sleep at night well knowing that there's statues above other statues and they might come down. It's just too much anxiety. So here we have three of the uh, Star Wars Black Series figures. I do want to get more, probably complete the line and put it down that way and that'll be what's up there. Don't know yet. Um, three of my favorite art prints, Star Wars. I do have a whole bunch more, but honestly, there's not a lot of wall space, as you can see, and I don't want to clutter things. So down here, we have my X-Men line, starting with the Raisin Cajun Gambit. Uh, awesome piece, one of my favorite pieces. Um, wouldn't trade him for anything. I prefer it 100% over the XM version. Not to say that XMs isn't great, but I just prefer this. Here is my X-Force variant Psylocke. Everything you see here, I'm gonna say is my favorite because they are, which is how they made it into the collection. Um, love her base. Here we have the XM Studios Mystique. I have her displayed with the short hair version because I just like that version better. Um, she looks more, um, you know, cutting and, and has that kind of sarcastic smirk. Like, yeah, I just blew up a mansion or just kill some people. But the other the other portrait, as you can see here on the print, is more seductive and sultry, and that's just not what I'm going for right now. Um, so that portrait usually never gets displayed. And I do like this portrait with the gun and the arm down. Again, as everyone has said maybe a million times, overscaled statue piece, but standing next to Psylocke, you can't really tell. And if you place her, like not on, on the same line. Then we have Cable here. Amazing piece. Love every detail on the statue. He is a pain in the butt to dust. They all are, but that's okay because he's awesome. And one day once I do get my own statue room, I will have them in module cases or something to that effect. Maybe something that I'll custom make, which um, I'm actually leaning more towards. I can have, you know, my own, my own space and know exactly what I want to put into it and how I'm going to do that. Then we have the exclusive Jean Grey, Sideshow Collectibles, beautiful piece. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have the XM Cyclops. I do prefer this portrait over the other portrait, obviously. This is the only one that's always displayed. The part A that comes on the stand, I did gift to my father as a birthday present and he loves it. Um, and honestly, I think that the part A version looks much better displayed as a bust. So win-win situation. And here we have the exclusive X23. Regular portrait is much better. On this amazing base. Great, great, great piece to have as well. Obviously I will be adding more once I do get more space. Kind of want to maybe do like a shelf halfway. Not so much a shelf, something that'll be standing so that they aren't at risk of falling over. Soon to come. Then we have the black cat. This is the regular version. Sideshow, premium format. Love this base. Can't wait to get more uh, Spider Man pieces. Here we have some Star Wars pieces. 
I did just get that legendary um, case to so have these statues spinning, which looks awesome. Have my three busts here, Ahsoka, Darth Maul, and um, Rex. I don't know why I stuttered, but I really love that gentle giant piece back there with Morai. Awesome piece. And that legendary display, I mean, look at that. It's awesome. And super silent too, which I love. Then of course down here we have Grogu, baby Grogu, with his art print. And of course, his toy. Love this piece. I did have to do the rub down on the cheeks with the, a damp sponge or napkin to remove some of that brightness on the cheeks, but I think it turned out great. Super movie accurate. Love, love, love it. Then over here, we just have the movie theater R2-D2 that came out with um, the Rise of Skywalker in, in theaters. This is the 1-6 General Giant Obi-Wan Kenobi in clone armor. I just have to figure out where to fit him somewhere in the Star Wars display, but I don't know. I don't have the time these days to figure that out or the patience. And down here we just have, I do want to start getting the Marvel Legends series, the two packs, because they're pretty freaking awesome. The next piece will be the Rogue and Pyro. And a CGC back there of Harley. I don't do CGCs, that just came with a statue that I bought and sold. So if you are interested in the CGC, I would even give it away. So just comment below and we can work that out. But besides that, this is the collection and the ending of 2020. Can't wait to see what is added to the collection in 2021. And thanks for watching, guys.